Okay, look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been sitting here for the past like 15 minutes. I swear to, I'm not even kidding. 15 minutes thinking of how I'm gonna start this video and I can't think of a single thing. So I'm just not gonna do anything. But first, let me tell you guys, I forgot to upload last week and I'm sorry, but it's been basically like finals month with the way my classes are set up and stuff. So I've been really busy trying to study uh, and failing, failing a lot of exams. I've been really busy studying, so I've had time to make a video or even prep a video or anything. So I was gonna skip this week too, but I was like, you know what, let me just put out something. But I am completely unprepared. This is not gonna be good. God, this is going so bad. You know what? Fuck it, this is just gonna be a bad video. Let's just get into it, let's get it over with. That being said, hope you guys enjoy it. Hello. My oh, wait, I never even explained to you. Okay, so this video is by Ehow. I don't know if you guys remember before, but I reacted to a video by Howcast. Actually, two videos by Howcast. And so it got me thinking, let me look at some other how-to channels like Ehow, WikiHow, all this stuff. Uh, see if they have some shitty basketball tutorial videos like uh, Howcast did. And by the grace of God, I found this gem. This jewel. Now, this video is called Basketball Tips, Different Ways of Shooting a Basketball. Which sounds like a relatable YouTube comedy skit. Shot number one, the Sean Marion. <laughs> Shot number two, the Lonzo Ball. <laughs> you know what, let me type in <laughs> different ways of shooting a basketball. Okay, so these actually look like real tutorial videos. Let me look up different basketball shots. Funny. And here we go, the different types of shooters. 2.8 million views six months ago. You know what, I'm going so off track, but I already told you from the beginning this is gonna be a bad video, so that's already sat in my mind. Let's just watch the first 10 seconds of this. Is this what you guys want? Is this what it takes to get 2.8 million views? Fuck my life. Man. Okay, let's get into the video. My name is Susan Summons, and I'm a college basketball coach here at Miami Dade College, Kendo Campus. In this clip, I'm gonna show you different ways on how to shoot a basketball. The players that I have here are gonna demonstrate the different shooting techniques. They're tremendous shooters, and you have to be passionate about shooting the basketball, and you gotta enjoy it, you gotta love it. So let's go, follow me. Baseline jump shot, she's got a rebounder, she's got a passer, she's gonna take some shot. Let's take a look at what she does. Okay, first of all, that's a travel. You can't stand there for 50 seconds holding the ball and then a hop right before you take your shot. Also, I don't really care that she missed. The ball was still going straight, it looked like, so it's not that big of a deal. She's got the rebound. I've got a rebound. We're gonna pass it to her, she's gonna take another shot. Travel again, you can't just hop when you've been standing there with the ball and you already have your pivot set. You can hop as soon as you get the ball, but you can't get the ball and stand there and then hop. That's a trap. Another shot. That one looks good. The interesting thing about shooting, if the shot is a good shot, your feet are set, you're using all of the mechanics, you've got the basketball, your feet are set, you've got good form, your right hand has got a great angle, you've got an L shape on the thumb, you're looking at the seams of the ball. Jesus Christ. If someone passes me the ball in a game, I'm gonna have to stand there for 25 minutes thinking about all these tips running through my head about how I'm supposed to shoot. All this, and it's all relative mechanics of shooting. The shot feels good. That is true though, I never really thought about that. If you get all the mechanics right, even if you miss the shot, your shot still feels right and natural, it's weird. You know that it's a great shot because it feels good and you take the shot. Go ahead, one more shot. Here's some tips on shooting the basketball. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That was, I'm so sorry. Oh man, that's just, do another take. Don't settle for that take, just cut it. Just say all that stuff you were talking about, the 35 different steps to shooting a jump shot again and then just do another take. And that, not only was that shot overpowered, not even straight, completely airballed, hit the backboard but not the rim. Um, in the corner somehow also. It was also right after she described 35 different mechanics of your jump shot that you shouldn't be doing every time you shoot. We're talking about how it feels good when you have a natural jump shot. She was so happy and then she airballs the shot. Oh man, okay, let's just finish this off. One more shot. Great shot, good mechanics. There it is. Mechanics. There it is. Really? What basically happened, for those of you guys that don't understand camera trickery, is that she missed the shot, and then they moved the camera to another angle, and then had another shot swish in, and they recorded that, and they edited it to kind of look like her shot went in. When in reality, they didn't have a cameraman with one camera, and then another camera right here pointing up on a tripod. That's so inefficient. This should have sold low budget. They only had one camera. I don't even know how they afforded that. This has been Coach Summons, 
and thanks for watching. God damn, this whole video was a mess. I don't even know where to start. Actually, no, I know where to start. When did they talk about different ways of shooting a basketball? I mean, I don't know if I missed something, but... No, now that I think about it, I don't even know what the video was talking about. She has had one of her players miss a bunch of shots, and then tell us 35 different things to focus on in your shot. And then she airballed, and then they tried to trick us, make us think she actually made one of the shots. God damn, my brain hurts. Oh my god, and every single time I visit these how-to channels, the numbers never make sense. How do you get 60,000 views with 150 likes and 48 dislikes? My videos, if they get to 20,000 views, they have at least 1,500 likes. Speaking of which, I'm trying to get to 3 million likes on this video, so you guys can smash that like button. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm always confused with these numbers, because 60,000 views with 200 total interactions with the likes and dislikes is not real. Something else, something else going on. You know what, let's just go down and read some of the comments. Keith Sean says, did they just cut the video at the end, LMAO? Yes, yes they did. Ken Gaming says, I really try and hope I make it to the NBA. I'm only 11 years old, but I've been training since I was nine. I want to make it to the New York Knicks. This might be one of the saddest comments I've ever heard. Joshua Gao, wow, thank you. What information could you have possibly gotten from this video that actually helped you with anything in life or in basketball? There was nothing out of this video that you could possibly take out of it. You know what, everything I've said throughout this entire video, you could have not watched any of it, but it could have all been summed up by this one comment by Joshua Pame. Pame, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. This was the most useless shit I've ever watched. Amen. Michael Slaughterback says, pathetic, editing the last shot, lol. I know. JJ Top Smile says they have the best enthusiasm. Fucking amazing. What are you talking about? YouTube comments so many times hurt my brain. A lot of you guys, I would say 95% of you guys are normal people. But some of the comments, it just hurts my brain to read them. That's why I'll go through the comments of a video after the first like hour has been uploaded. But after that, I'll check it every once in a while. But for the most part, you know, I don't really check the comments. If you guys really want to talk to me, uh, still leave a comment because it helps the video get noticed. I still see them, but I usually don't respond to them or anything. Um, if you guys want to message me, you actually want to talk to me, go DM me on Instagram. I'll reply to all the messages. I'll be honest, sometimes it takes me like two or three weeks because I just really don't feel like replying to everything. But eventually, I do get to everybody. So, DM me on Instagram if you want to talk to me. Oh yeah, my Instagram is at alimadi20. I probably had it at the bottom anyway. At alimadi21. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. This video was done. I'm... I'm sorry. I told you guys from the beginning that this video was going to be bad and I stay true to my promise. To be honest, I just haven't been motivated to post videos recently because none of my videos are getting views. Um, a lot of the ad revenue has stopped, all the shirt, hoodie, the foul stuff, the sales have stopped pretty much. Um, there's just not really a lot of motivation, but I need to find that spark again to just keep going again. Anyway, that's the video. We're all going to die eventually. I'll see you in Actually, we don't all die because I've actually found a cure. Not really, but I just want to give a shout out to this guy who bought the Leathery Buckets hoodie, uh, which is from a while back, but he just sent it to me, so I'm shouting him out now. Uh, his YouTube is Chilly Chill Chris, so if you guys are looking for a chill guy to chill with, I would definitely chill with him. Anyway, the hoodie looks dope, and I'll see you in hell. I'm just looking for the time back. I'm just looking for the time back. I lose almost every day. I lose almost every day. I can't make a single time. Fita said.